Should you move your UK pensions? Well, three parts to this. Number one, should you move your out of your current arrangements? Now, your current arrangements, UK pensions are going to be either defined contribution or money purchase or defined benefit slash final salary. So defined contribution, pretty straightforward. You've got a pot or pots of money. You either contributed to them and or your employer contributed to them. It's a personal pension or a company pension and they're invested in a fund or funds and a fairly bog standard straightforward pension vehicle with an insurance company. And it's a pretty straightforward decision to move them from here to consolidate them over here. You just got to weigh up things like costs and flexibility and, and access requirements, that kind of thing. And uh, But generally quite straightforward. There can be some complications sometimes. Older pensions in particular may have bells and whistles that you don't want to lose. Protected tax-free cash, although it's debatable whether that's even a benefit in America. That's not a conversation for now. Guaranteed annuity rates. These are things that you want to make sure your pension doesn't have before transferring it. But nine times out of ten, you're not going to have those benefits and it's a fairly straightforward decision. Defined benefit or final salary is a different ball game altogether. Now, final salary is where you have a, a guaranteed income from your old employer or the older employer's pension scheme, inflation linked. And that's a huge, hugely valuable benefit that most people don't want to give up. Uh, doesn't mean you can't, but it does mean that the process going through to decide whether that's in your best interest is both more involved, more timely, and more expensive. So that's something to bear in mind. But let's just say you assume you go through this process, you arrive at a place where you want to move it, and or you've already made the decision for your defined contribution pensions. What do you transfer to? Well, for most people in America, that's going to be a SIP. A SIP is a UK vehicle. We're not aware of a way to get these pensions out of the UK. And quite honestly, we don't think you need to because a SIP is super flexible. It can be uh, set up for an expat in a way that is very uh, friendly. So you have... Uh, modern uh, flex investment options. Um, you can take benefits, and you can also take benefits. Usually, you can you can apply for an NT tax code to take benefits tax free in the UK. So you just tax in the US, and you, there are SIPs that will allow you to invest in and withdraw funds in dollars, which is a huge benefit if you are in, a, in America and plan on retiring in America in dollars. So these are reasons why you'd want to transfer and why you'd want to transfer to a SIP. A flexible SIP that allows US residents in and allows them to change currency to the currency that they are living in. And then finally, okay, so you've you've made the decision to transfer out your current arrangements, you've got yourself a SIP, now what? Well now you need to do two things broadly, you need to invest it and, and grow it and, and not lose it. You also need to report it. Now this is super important. Uh, in the US you have to report all of your non-US assets, even if you're not, they're not taxable now. The US needs to know about them, usually over multiple forms as well. Uh, and the potential penalties for even innocent non-compliance are staggering. So this, I cannot stress enough the value in you having a cross-border tax advisor. And not just any cross-border tax advisor, a tax advisor who has specific experience and knowledge of the your original country where these assets are. It might cost a little bit more year to year, but what they could save you in, in, in emotional and financial costs are you know, enormous. So that is a, a standing recommendation from me. Uh, and then yeah, like you gotta grow it, you gotta, you gotta make sure you don't lose it, and ultimately you've gotta draw it down or buy an annuity in such a way that you don't run out of money. <laughs> so that's it, there's more information on our website, or, and of course you can always reach out to us and we'll answer any questions we can and, and help out as we can. Thank you.